Hey there! Welcome back to Reddit Dating, best channel for cheating stories. Make sure to like and subscribe the channel for more spicy stories. Crazy ex-wife is leaving for her AP, thinking it'd be better. He became depressed and now begs for help. To begin, I am 31 years old M, and my wife is 28 years old F. We have two children, ages 7 and 5. My wife requested a divorce on August 27, 2020. She apparently departed that day and was living with her mother. The next day, I received messages from her cousin claiming that she has been cheating on me. The wife swears she has never done so up to this point. We met a week later to perform a Zoom meeting on her phone to meet our son's instructor online. She receives a Facebook message that says, Only a few hours. Eggplant emoji, peach emoji, sweat emoji. I asked her after the meeting if she could clarify it, and she replied she didn't want to talk about it and that she had already erased the messages. She said it was one of her pals, because my wife was out on a date and apparently girlfriends get thrilled for each other and think they're going to get laid. Which? I definitely did not believe. I became enraged and urged her to go. She informed me she was taking the kids to another city to visit her grandparents and go swimming for Thanksgiving, which is in October for us in Canada. She ended up lying and went to a hotel with our kids and this person she allegedly cheated on me with. The car engine broke up and died on the way back. The automobile she fought me for, for which she still owes about $12,000 and makes payments every couple of weeks. This is when I started to believe in karma a little bit more. My wife and I drank together and had sex about five or six times between September and November. I still wanted her back and to have sex with her. I'm realizing now that she's been seeing this guy for quite some time. I discovered photos of them approximately a week and a half ago. I haven't talked to her since I viewed those photos and confirmed everything. I just wanted to believe all of her falsehoods, even the blatant ones, so she cheated. On me, dumped me for him, and then cheated on him with me. Just two weeks ago, before I knew for sure, she came over and we were talking, and she let me feel her up and give her a full body massage. I have no idea what's going on in her thoughts right now. Some additional information. The kids are okay, my apartment is tidy, and I've shed 50 pounds since she left, 235 pounds down to 185 pounds. She's came to my house a couple of times and cried to me about how unfair is that I'm doing so much better than she is. She's complained that it's not fair that I'm doing all of this now rather than when we were together. On Christmas, she assured me she still loved me and got me gifts, not just trash, but a bottle of sake because she knows how badly I want to visit Japan and how much she enjoys making ramen and other Japanese dishes. So she gave it some thought. I don't mean to be disrespectful, but she doesn't look very nice these days either. She's gained weight, and she's become obsessed with medications and alcohol. She claims to cry all the time. She told me she was depressed with me, left me expecting things would get better, but she is still depressed, which bothers her. But, as we all know, happiness comes from within and she doesn't have any. So if you abandoned me for someone else, be glad about it and make the best of it. She hasn't texted me in four days. This is the longest she has gone without texting me in four months. When we were dating, she informed me that if she ever left, I would fail. She predicted that if I started working in a kitchen as a dishwasher, I would never make any friends. Apparently, she forgot how outgoing and friendly I am. All of the waitresses adored me, and I progressed from dishwasher to working in the line to being asked if I wanted to bartend. I was overweight at the time, and my self-esteem and confidence were in shambles, so I didn't pursue a career in bartending. She didn't like how many people ended up like me, especially the girls. Whenever my wife and I went out drinking, she would invariably end up twerking on the wall or the floor and letting guys videotape her. She flirted with everyone and had several of my close friends convinced that I wanted to make a threesome with her. I don't drink very often, but one Halloween I drank too much at a friend's party and ended up passing out and spitting up all over the place. While I was doing that, she was in the restroom with guys who were showing her tits off in exchange for free coke and who knows what else. But she persuaded me that nothing had happened, leading me to believe that I was insane and that everyone else was incorrect. Basically, you're gaslighting me. I'm currently seeing a therapist, and I'm discovering that she really just requires constant attention from other sources. Getting it from her hubby was insufficient. I know we all have problems and our marriage was far from flawless. I know I still love and care for her, but I'm not going to be a backup or a second choice. I despise comparing my situation to hers, but it helps me feel better right now. 
I have my own apartment, a dog, happy children, my own vehicle, money, and I'm in university. And even though I feel like complete garbage, I'm going through the feeling so that I can truly move on and attempt to be at peace. Whereas she is living with her mother, has a broken car, no vehicle, is asking for money from me, and is living on served COVID money, is miserable depressed, thought the grass was greener and it isn't. She is so scared of being alone with her thoughts that she occasionally sleeps with her mother or the children. She will not go on once I have. I'm not sure whether she'll ever move on because she's stubborn and realizes she made a mistake. In the end, I'm not sure why she cheated and left, but she still texts me, has sex with me, and tells me how much better I'm doing than she is. It befuddles the mind. But on the other hand, how can you comprehend someone who doesn't understand themselves? I'm doing fine, although some weeks are excruciatingly painful. It's as if she ripped my heart out, fractured it, and then smacked the other guy on top of the shattered parts. That's the end of the narrative. There's so much more I could say and backstory I could provide, but I think this is sufficient. Thank you for your time. Please feel free to ask any queries you may have. It's a challenging time to be separated, cheated on, and covet all at the same time. Story number two. They truly believe we are doormats. Today, I met with my STBXH and lawyers. It went swimmingly. That's fantastic. It did not begin that way, but it did end that way. I followed the advice I received here and began using a co-parenting app. I have a record of him refusing to take our kid on his weeks, or only for a few days before returning her to me or dumping her on his parents, claiming he is too busy to have her. This has been a tremendous assistance. Someone else hired an investigator to find out what he's too busy doing to see his daughter, which also aided me. Having women over for parties. This is what he values the most. I just wanted to cry, but I've been crying so much recently that I've run out of tears. His lawyer informed him that if he drags this out any longer, I will most likely win full custody and more. I've offered him everything in exchange for complete custody. I'd even threatened to stop paying child support if he signed. Apparently, Illinois will make him pay nonetheless, so we'll do our best to keep it as low as possible. So we'll sign knowing I'll be bringing our daughter to Texas after it's all said and done. He's not going to argue with that. This could be coming to an end shortly. We talked for a few minutes. He was still adamant that he didn't want a divorce. When I asked him what he expected to happen, he answered, I didn't anticipate you'd leave. I just wanted to scream and punch him, so I ran away. He truly believed he could do all of that to me and I would not leave. Hearing him express his total contempt for me in words hurt a lot. I gave him two chances in eight years, and this is what I got in return. He cheated on her again because he expected nothing to come of it. That I was just there to be walked about. That's how little I was appreciated. That's how insignificant my emotions were. That he could inflict such pain on me and I would just sit there and accept it because that's what I used to do. I'm relieved that this agony is coming to an end, but I'm feeling dreadful right now.